Titan here, and today I have the Nanoblock Rabbit Set. And this is set number 179, and it includes 120 pieces, and is a level 2 out of 5 building difficulty. So, let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm going to be doing a speed build, and to take a look at how this rabbit looks when it is done. Okay, so let's open this up, and this is Nanoblock, the original micro-sized building block. Okay, so let's take a look. So it looks like we get four bags of our pieces right here. And we also get the instructions manual. And let's see how many steps this will take us. And it looks like we can complete this in about six steps. So let's go ahead and start building this. Everybody, so here's the finished product. I think it looks super duper cute and they definitely did a good job recreating the looks of the rabbit and it's even more impressive because uh, these were made off of super duper tiny little blocks. It's a 4x4x5 four by four by millimeter block so it's going to be barely that big and I like the little flowers that they added in. It's a nice touch to the little rabbit and it would look good on any desk because it's super cute and really impressive that you did it with these super tiny blocks. It looks almost like it's a little 8-bit rabbit. And if you notice at the end of the video, I had tons and tons of uh, leftover pieces. Now on the package, they say that um, it includes leftover pieces because they want to make sure you don't run out of pieces. Because uh, sometimes if they put in the exact amount, you could miss a brick and that could throw off your whole entire build. And like as what I do with tradition, with these super tiny little cute little micro building blocks, I always make... <laughs> I always make super baby versions of it, and it looks really funny. <laughs> so I tried my best, so it gave me an extra piece of this little green thing right here. And I was able to scrape up enough pieces to make this super duper funny looking rabbit, which I guess is like, wait a minute, are you, are you my child? Huh? <laughs> it's funny, because uh, uh, I had a very limited amount of pieces, and I... <laughs> 
<laughs> it looks funny because um, I couldn't make it as defined as the real one, but I still think it's pretty cute that I would try to make a little baby one. So the looks of this and the build, it's awesome. That's what I think overall. I think it's super duper cool. And this is not gonna be like Lego. There's definitely lots of more technical building techniques that you have to have, such as for example, if I take off one of his little feet, uh, I'll show a picture of this on screen, but normally with Lego, you have little dividers in it, so each stud is a stud, but with this nano block right here, there's no divider in, uh, in between it, so it can slide around, and so that can make super cool building techniques. For example, on the bottom, we have here, these, this is not, there's this little gap, it's not counted as one block, because the block is way wider, but you're able to make it down to half a block, which would only be like two millimeters of space. So you can create some really cool building techniques with this. And I think they also did a pretty good job on the flowers. Super simple build, yet it goes super well with the rabbit. So that was my review of the Rabbit Nanoblocks building set, and that was set number 179. I definitely do recommend this, as on the package it says it's a level two out of five uh, building difficulties. I'd say though for a toddler building this, this would this would not be uh, recommended because um, it's not re recommended for children under three. And also, even if you do teach them not to eat the bricks, um, you're gonna have a super hard time putting them together since they're so tiny, there's no divider in between it. It's not as simple as Lego. It's a lot, lot more harder because they're micro building blocks. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Hope you give me a like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Bye!